Hello, welcome back to So let's take a look at the four belts that I have used in the past few years. This is the order that I have used them. So this is the LBD Wiggers belt. This is the Alonso Defense Group. And this one is the Arcteryx H150. And this one is the Woden Sanshi belt. And when I start airsoft, I was using the very big spongy wall belt. It's beside the before the LBD belt. And that one basically you just molding everything on it, you know, the mag pouch, thumb pouch, pistol holster, anything on the belt. And as soon as you go to the battlefield, you just clip that on and you just go for gaming. But later on, some of the issues that I've experienced with that is that when you have heavier stuff, the belt tends to sink down and it moves around your body. So later on, I was looking at some other belts and my friend was suggesting the LBT for me. And he was like, if you utilize the you know the bell loop within the belt if you put let's say if you attach two mag pouch here the loop bell will act as a stop so it, it won't go out like i mean it won't move around as much so then i was using this to attach to my pouch and a pistol and later on i got a you know the out of a recon pistol which is whole which is a steel 1911 and with the holster, it was so heavy, and this belt, since it's very soft, it's just made of wrapping and it's 1.75 inch thick. It started to pull down my pants for me, so I was looking for a stiffer belt. And then it just happens I saw the you know the Goin's thumb video and he was talking about this gun belt. And this belt is very hard, it's a very stiff material. So using this, I had no problem with you know attaching a heavier pistol and then I got to map pouch and a dump pouch and then later on there was a period of time where I don't use a pistol so I was only attaching two map pouch and a dump pouch so I and this one is since it's very thicker and hard it is not as comfortable as some of the other belts that I have used and also one of the downside of the Alonso is the adjustment of the belt width so if you happen to be in the middle it's, it'll be either too tight or too loose for you so this is one of the downside of this belt but the good thing is this is 1.5 inch to fit any civilian or casual pants and any combat pants so since i ditch pistol i was only using a belt for two max i was looking for something that has support while feeling as comfortable as possible so i have used the arc terrace so this is the arc terrace h150 and it's and it has some kind of insert inside making it a little bit stiff so it's just so it's just not a normal nylon belt and the adjustment is by you know adjusting this strap so it's perfect fit for your size and i would say out of the four belts this one is the most comfortable while having being tight on your body but the downside is some of the width on this belt is a little bit over two inch so it has to fit in combat pants so you can't really wear jeans for gaming or wear any or wear any shorts and then later on i decided to use my pistol again so i was once again i was using the alonso and then later on i got lazy so i don't really want to like you know take off my belt when i arrive at the game site and then attach the pouch as i breathe the belt again so I was looking for something that I can, that is low profile and I can attach the belt when I get to the game site. So I start looking at the outer inner belt Velcro belt system. So beside Roland, I was also looking at the Eagle, the High Speed Gear, and the Vegas Gear. They are all very similar in design. And at the end, I chose the Roland because of the color stream. So essentially it's black and multicam, so it kind of matches my current multicam black and multicam setup. So that's why I went with the Roland. So for the belt like this, it came with, also came with the inner belt. So the inner belt is a female Falco. So this belt attached to your combat pants, and this is also stiff. So when you arrive, let's say on a game site, the outer belt has male Falco out there. So you can just snap, so you can just stick this on to your pants and this belt will stay in position it won't go away and the stiffness of this adding to this one makes this one makes this belt the stiffest out of the four and it was secured by a cobalt buckle and also has a d-ring but one of the downside of this belt is the moldy system and this belt is 1.75 inch thick and the center part here is less than an inch so when you're trying to moldy something you can't really moldy this part so supposedly this one goes in here 
and then comes back under here and then goes in here but since this spot is less than an inch the body strap will kind of like push it against both the sides so it you have difficulty putting this it in so what i have here for my access pouch i use a menace clip so i take up to moldy space which is two inch so there's only a little bit tiny movement here and then my jiho also uses a plastic clip and it has a little hook here for at a two inch point so it's only moving a little bit but it doesn't really move when i'm putting the mag out so so yeah out of the four belts I would say the inner outer barrel system is the best just because of the ease of use on putting it, the gear on and for transport and then for these three belts if I have to keep one I'll keep the Alonso defense belts since it's 1.5 inch I can put on any belt and it's hard enough to support a pistol so this is for the quick sharing of the full belt system that I've used before I will see you guys next time